It's been quite a bit of time since I've done a video opening pin mail, so I've saved quite a number of pin packages over the last few weeks to open up and share today. A number of these are also very fitting for my upcoming Disneyland trip, and I'll be there next week, so super, super excited about that. I'm gonna start off with a pin that's in this package, and this is actually a fantasy pin. I talked about in my most expensive Disney pins video how there are a lot of fantasy WDI profile pins, and this one that I got here is an Eve from Wally fantasy profile pin. I absolutely love the movie Wally. It is by far my favorite Pixar movie, and I saw this Eve fantasy profile pin and thought it was just too cool. So this pin is by M and M Pins on Instagram. They did a whole series of these profile peer pins, so that's kind of themed after Pixar Peer now at DCA. This really is a huge, super super beautiful pin, and it was also such a reasonable price. So this will be very cool on my Wally -E pin board. Next up, I have some pin mail from France, and there's addresses on both sides. So I'm gonna kind of keep that out of frame and pull out what is inside. So inside is actually really cool because there's some little extra park goodies. So these are the English versions of the park maps to Disneyland Paris. I always love when there are park maps for especially for international parks included with pin mail because I do like to save and collect these. And the actual pin inside is for my Tower of Terror pin collection. Disneyland Paris has been releasing a limited edition pin series that features various attractions, and the past months had Tower of Terror on it. So their Tower of Terror is exactly the same as the one that was at DCA, and it's in the Walt Disney Studios Park. This has Mickey and Pluto on it, and that whole elevator is actually a really cool slider element, and there's a neat little Hollywood Tower Hotel dangle. And this Paris Tower of Terror pin happens to be an Ellie of 700. Next up, this package is from My Disney Shop, which I did talk about in my Disney Q&A video of where I like to buy pins, and I saw that they had just come out with a new pin from the parks that I really needed to have for my collection, and then I also decided to pick up one extra thing to kind of make the shipping worth it. So what I got was the brand new Powerline Open Edition pin that came out in the parks. I absolutely love a Goofy movie and the Powerline songs. They're not only some of the best Disney songs, they're just some of the best songs, period. So I'm really excited that they're finally coming out with some more Goofy movie merch. I love the colors of this Powerline pin. They're super bright and vibrant, and it's kind of a nice pearlescent blue background. And then what I also decided to get was one of the mint Walt Disney World Hidden Mickey Mystery Pouches. I know I've opened these from Disneyland before, but I can't remember if I've opened them from Walt Disney World. Either way, I always love these Hidden Mickey mystery pouches. Number one best way to get guaranteed authentic Hidden Mickey pins, so I figure I might as well just open these right now, kind of include them as part of the pin mail video. So I almost kind of forget what series are included in the mint pouches, but we shall find out. And then I do know that there are potentially completer pins in here, so we could get lucky. All right, ooh, this first pin here is really cool, and it is a completer pin. Some excellent luck right off the back. This is the Winnie the Pooh completer pin for the Big Feet series. This is such a cute pin and so cool to get a completer. Then we do have one more pin in here. This one, looking at the back, is just a regular pin. Ooh, but this one is from kind of the Kitchen Food series, and this is like the cookie tray. I do already have this pin in my collection, but that's okay. It'll work out as a great trader. Next up is a find that I got on eBay, and this pin is kind of fitting into my new little side collection of pins about pin trading, so they're kind of pin trading meta pins. So this was from an older Disneyland series, and it is this beautiful Cinderella pin that says, if the pin fits. This was from a Disneyland older pin trading series, and like I said, it says if the pin fits, just kind of like Cinderella if the shoe fits, and then she's got a lanyard full of pins being carried by the Bluebirds. This is an Ellie of 500. And this pin, along with some of my other pin trading meta pins, I'm planning on putting in my Eda bag to bring to Disneyland. All right, and this package is another fantasy pin, which I'm very excited about. This comes from Out of Our Minds on Instagram, and so they are some very high and very highly sought after fantasy pin desires. The first time I've purchased a pin from them, and I'm so excited for this pin because it fits in perfectly with one of my side collections and it features one of my favorite villains. So 
In here is this super gorgeous Madame Medusa pin. This pin is titled under their Villains Paint Drip series. The quality of this pin is just so stunning and beautiful. There is just so, so much awesome screen printing detailing with Madame Medusa's eyes. So happy to be able to own this and it was really cool to be able to buy this in kind of one of those exclusive Instagram pin presales. Next, I believe this pin in here is for the monthly pin series that I'm working on collecting. And this is really cool that it was actually shipped to me in one of the Disney Parks gift bags. I guess it's not really a gift bag, it's just kind of like the bags that they give out. And so this was the latest pin trading pop-up book that they released, and it is for Princess and the Frog. These pin trading pop-up books are designed as kind of one of their regular monthly limited edition releases, but this entire year there's been problems with the releases where they've like appeared on the pin calendars and then like the dates have been switched and then they've been pulled and then they just haven't shown up and they're just kind of coming out as surprise releases. So it seems like they are eventually coming out with the full 12 month set of them, but they're definitely a little bit unpredictable in when they're getting released. For this one with Princess and the Frog, we have Tiana on there, and it looks like a frog and Naveen on her shoulder. And then I love that these pins actually open up, and there's a full other scene inside with a pin-on-pin -pin detail, and then there's actually a little story etching in there. So really, the details on these pins are so cool. This whole pin series is a limited edition of 4,000 and is available on both coasts. The three remaining pin mail packages I have are actually all Galaxy's Edge pins because I'm gonna be in Galaxy's Edge one week from now. So this first pin here was the final pin in the Countdown series that they released, and this features DJ R3X, who was the pilot from Star Tours and is now the DJ at the Cantina. So since I am going to visit the land and during the opening reservation period, I did want to collect all of the three Countdown limited edition pins that were coming out. And this is an Ellie of 3,500. On opening day, they did release a four pin box set of Countdown pins that was an Ellie 500. So there is an Ellie 500 Millennium Falcon completer pin to the series, but that obviously is just reselling for way too much. So I'm sticking with the three regular limited edition release countdown pins. Speaking of pins that released for opening day, I do have an opening day release pin for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in here. This here is the actual dated May 31st, 2019 Star Wars Galaxy's Edge limited release opening day pin. Normally I am not like the biggest fan of dated pins, but this is the case where, you know, I do enjoy having that specific date on the pin because this is something I'm actually going to be experiencing. This is actually a nice little pin on pin with the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge logo and then the Millennium Falcon. You have some of the town buildings and then the black spires in the background with the opening date on top. This pin and actually quite a lot of the other, they're kind of calling them opening season pins, are just limited releases and I think they ordered quite a lot of them, which is nice because that means that people who want them can get them a little bit more easily. Because this was like the actual dated opening day pin, I didn't want to chance it if it would still be there because we're going to be there toward the end of the reservation run. So I wanted to get this pin and be able to include it in my Eda bag. I have one very final last pin for today, and this is, I'm actually planning on having it being kind of the centerpiece pin for my Eda bag. And this is actually a Walt Disney Imagineering pin related to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I believe this was from a D23 Expo where they were discussing Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It says Walt Disney Parks and Resorts, and it says a galaxy of stories. And then you have the town kind of skyline in the back. I really like this one because it is very much parks related. It's not just like just Star Wars-y because again, I really, I'm just not that into Star Wars. I have actually watched through all of the Star Wars movies to kind of prepare and lead up and they still just really aren't my cup of tea, but I love the Disney parks storytelling aspect of things. That's what I'm really excited for. So I thought this would be a super awesome pin to have as my Eda bag centerpiece. And it's always cool to have another WDI pin. This one is actually a limited edition of 600. All right, so that was not the last pin. It is the next day now, and just today I got in three more pieces of pin mail. This will probably be the last pin mail that I get before Disneyland, and some of these were really cool finds, so I thought since I hadn't 
finished editing the video that I might as well stick these in and be able to share these. First up, I have another package that is coming from France and this got here so quickly. I had ordered these kind of around the time I was thinking about making a pin mail video and was like, oh, these will never arrive in time. Well, they arrived today, so I get to show these. And in this package, I actually have three different pins that are brand new cool releases. I have the latest set of Zootopia pin trading night pins. Disneyland pairs all the time, and typically they'll release a set of three limited edition pin trading night pins. And this current set is the third set of Zootopia pins that they've released. And with this set, we get some more obscure characters. So we first have a Mr. Big pin. This is kind of like the basic depiction of Mr. Big. It's like the only artwork you'll see of him on pins, but cool to have another Mr. Big pin. Then there's a pin with Assistant Mayor Bellwether, and I actually love the artwork on this. It's a little different than her other pins, and I think that this is a super cool pose. And then finally, here is obscure character. This is Jerry Jumbo Jr., and he's holding a big Jumbo Pop. I think there's only one other pin that he's on. It's a PTD, which I do have. So with this, I should be Jerry Jumbo complete. And these pins are all a limited edition of 400. Next in here is a good find on eBay. This would have fit in perfectly with my video I did on the best Disney pin deals I've gotten on eBay. It's pretty much exactly what I did for a lot of those. I just searched Disneyland pin in terms of newly listed and see what new stuff came up. And this pin came up at a super price. So I wanted to show how awesome this pin was packaged. It's kind of encased in a little styrofoam tomb with a cardboard lid on top because the back of the pin is a little bit extra special. So this is like as secure as you can get for shipping a pin. And this pin itself is just absolutely gorgeous. This pin depicts the lamp that's left on in Walt Disney's personal apartment at Disneyland. This was only given to tour participants during a special 50th anniversary Disneyland tour, and this light has such an awesome feature. So the pin itself is just so pretty. It's so shiny and nice, and there's a whole bunch of like little Mickey details on here. But what's super awesome is on the side of the pin, there is a little switch. So we can flick the switch, and on goes the light and it's really cool. It works totally well. And then you can just turn the light off, but the light always stays on in Walt's apartment in memory of him. Typically you'll only see like this pin on eBay for around $40, but I saw this listed for $13 and I knew I wanted to grab it, especially because on my Disneyland trip, we're going to do the walk in Walt's Disneyland footsteps tour. And so this pin kind of fits in perfectly with that. In my last final mailer, I have two pins to share, and I had never seen these pins before. I found them on eBay, and they are like the absolute perfect pins for my geology collection. And they're like these actual stones shaped into the Mickey head icon. This is like as geology and Disney as you can get. So I have two different ones here. One is a turquoise, and one is a nice magenta color. And these were just so, so cool. I'm surprised I'd never come across these before. I actually found out about these series on the Disney pin auction page. Somebody had this one and I think another one up for auction. And then one of the admins, Kimberly, tagged me in them because she knows I'm kind of into geology. I knew this auction was getting away from me, so I'm like, let me check on eBay and see if I can find it. And I found a listing that had both of these together at a great price. So I just thought that these were like the coolest. All right, so now this is the actual end of the video and I'll kind of do the wrap up for today, but I'm really excited by all the pin mail that I got. It's kind of satisfying when you collect your pin mail for a little bit and then you can put them all up on your display boards or in my case, putting some of these in my Eda bags for Disneyland. I've been like counting down for this Disneyland trip for months and now it's only a few days away and I am super duper excited. And I'm now all set with pins for the trip. But thanks for watching.